We're thinking about how the Allies came, particularly Americans, and liberated this place in 1945. Certainly a tribute to our nation and to our uh, country. Same time, the place is so shocking that it's almost numbing. I was thinking about what Jeremiah said, the human heart is deceitfully wicked above all else. And that's certainly evident in a place uh, like Buchenwald. And so just as a reminder to myself and to, to Jake and Josh and Carter, uh, the only thing that's going to change that kind of behavior is the gospel. Only the gospel will change that kind of behavior. So I'm preaching to myself. <laughs> we got to keep preaching. We got to keep saying it, keep telling the truth. And it uh, really is the only thing that will change the kind of parts we see that causes things uh, like this. So I'm really glad we had an opportunity to uh, stop here. Certainly a major contrast between worship at the Augustinian Monastery in the morning and Buchenwald in the afternoon. So I just thought we'd stop and uh, pause. I just want to pray for us. Father, we're grateful for uh, this day. Certainly a major contrast in worship this morning and the numbing, chilling uh, scene that we just uh, have uh, seen and participated in. But it is a reminder, Lord, of what you say about how deceitfully wicked the human or hurt is. We see that evidence there. And so, Lord, I pray the truth of the gospel will continue to go forth. It truly is life-changing. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And so, Lord, we just pray as the gospel continues to advance uh, literally all around the globe, uh, that hearts truly will be changed that uh, men will come to meet you, the Prince of Peace, Lord Jesus, and will have that uh, peace in their heart, uh, peace uh, with God, as you can tell us we have in Romans 5, 1, and, uh, that we can have peace with each other in Ephesians 2, and we can have an inner peace from John 14. And so, Lord, I just pray that uh, that peace might uh, permeate uh, the world as the gospel is taught, as it is preached. And, Lord, we're just reminded that Martin Luther, when he walked in his uh, classroom to teach, when he walked in his pulpit to preach, when he uh, walked into his study to write, boy, he uh, really proclaimed and taught that gospel in such a clear way, and may we continue to do that. Thanks for our friendship and fellowship. Thanks for what we're learning. Uh, thank you for Joseph, the bus driver, Lord. Thank these men and equipping them uh, to make this a wonderful time for us as we learn, as we grow, as we mature in the faith so that we can be everything that you want us to be, Lord Jesus, that you might be honored and glorified. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen.